everyone. My name is Denise White. I am the host of the VIP Ignite Live podcast. And today I have one of our Inner Circle members, Candace Rayford, with us. Good afternoon, Candace. How are you today? I'm well, Deneen, and good afternoon to you too. Thank you. So let's just get into this. So Candace, before you started working with VIP Ignite and Truth Management, and before you were part of our inner circle, you had a lot of experience with music. I would like to say that you're pretty much a musical savant. How many instruments is it that you play? I think it's about 12 or 13. 12 or 13 instruments. Okay. So you play 12 or 13 instruments and I've heard you play, I think like three or four of them. And I've been amazed every time. Um, but so let me know, why did you start working with VIP Ignite? You have all of this talent. Why, why would you start working with VIP Ignite? I feel that you guys can put me in touch with people who actually know what they're doing. And not only that, who are willing to coach and mentor along the way and not try to take advantage of you in the process. Okay, let's talk about how valuable has the mentoring been to you? Oh, really good. So for me, um, the mindset coaching has really been where it's at for me um, because I take that in my performances and in my training and jujitsu. And one of the things that I've been really affirming with the mindset and just like going in with a, a clear head and being present and, and just knowing that everything is happening for me, not to me. Um, I've been using those lessons to really just apply in my training. And so far I've been taking home gold after gold after gold just by changing the way that I'm thinking. Okay. So you've been taking home gold me medals in jujitsu, which is amazing. Yes. Okay. So that helped. So mind the mindset training that we offer you has helped you with your Brazilian jujitsu. Let's talk about how it's also helped you with your career, because recently you were at our, at our event in Los Angeles and you got signed to a major agency in LA. So can you talk to me a little bit about how the mindset training has helped you get from just being brilliant at all of these instruments to being signed by a major agency in Los Angeles? Absolutely. So we talk about, we talk a lot about being confident and just being uniquely you. And so for me, the coaching has helped me to speak better with the agents and casting directors. Um, it's helped me to just really ensure that I'm communicating to the agents that I am someone that they would want to invest their time in. And because I'm taking the coaching classes from you all, that sets me apart from someone else that they may have been looking at just because you all actually hold us accountable for the coaching that we're receiving. How has that accountability helped you? Because you, you, you've mentioned that more than once. So talk to me a little bit about how we hold you accountable and how that's helped to propel you forward. Well, basically, if we're slacking, then everyone else is going to see that. And naturally, people don't want to be called out on things that they're not doing. So not only do we want to make our coaches proud, but we also know that if we're not doing what we're supposed to be doing, someone's going to call us out on that. And rather than get upset at what we're not doing, we are really stepping into the lessons and everything and holding ourselves accountable. And then on top of that, we're succeeding. And then our coaches are also succeeding. And then they're showing or they're seeing that the talent are capable of putting out what they're receiving. So I don't know if that answers the question, but. Yeah, no, it definitely does answer the question. It sounds to me like you're a part of a community of people as well. So talk about the community because a lot of times creatives feel very alone. And I know you felt that way when you first came to us, you were kind of going through a lot of different things. So talk to me about the community and how that also helps you remain accountable and move forward. Well, I still kind of feel that way, but I know that it's just because sometimes I have like all these ideas. And so it's like, okay, we all know that I'm pretty creative, but we just don't know necessarily at the moment where to put all that creativity. But I also know that I can come to you guys and talk to you and you'll help me just come back down to earth quite a bit. So um, I love being able to just talk to the other talent and the coaches and like share our wins and everything 
And um, you guys are more than just a community. You're like a family, so. That's awesome. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. That's how we feel about you as well. Um, let's talk about getting signed by a major agency. So you were at our event in October and you got signed by an agency. Talk to me about that process. Well, I didn't actually expect anything to happen. Um, I always just try to go into things with a clear head. Um, it was exciting to hear everyone's journeys and their stories and what they're looking for in talent. And it it just so happened, you know, I'm just always myself, bubbly, nice, polite and everything. Um, but I think because of the way that I connected with, with my agent, that showed her that I'm someone who is genuine and not just out here saying, pick me, pick me, can you sign me? But it's because of the fact that I'm willing to be coached and I, I know what I need to work on and, and I'm not coming in with such like a big head that that really is part of the icing on the cake. And so um, when, when I saw Allie get up, I thought I did something wrong actually because she looked directly at Ryan and she got up and she was just talking so like, um, I, I don't want to say animated, but you could tell she had a very serious look on her face. And so I'm like, oh my God, I just blew it. I don't know how I blew it, but I did. But then she came back down and she told me that my resume looked solid and that she would like to be in, in contact with me. That's amazing. Now, how has working with VIP Ignite prepared you? Because I know that the process that you've gone through, there's an onboarding process for the agency. How has working with VIP Ignite prepared you for that process and beyond? Well, mindset, 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 because you guys tell us all the time, whether we think we can do something or whether we think we can't do something, we're correct. And so it's up to us to really have that mindset of winning and succeeding and growth and progress. And Antoinette always talks about you know, just be aware that where you're at is where you're supposed to be. And so, I don't know, for me, the mindset is where it's at. Because if your mind isn't right, then you can't really focus on what you're supposed to be doing. I love that. It's so true. And I definitely do, we do say a lot, whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. Um, and Ant, just for anyone who's listening, Antoinette Stratton is a talent manager that we work with who does a lot of mindset and she teaches on the business of the business to our talent. So I'm glad that you had the opportunity to work with her and to learn so much from her. So in closing, Candace, here's the question I have for you. If someone is listening to this and they're on the fence about joining a boot camp or joining an open call or joining us to be a part of VIP Ignite, what is it that you would say to them? I would say that you have to dig deep inside and look inside of yourself as to what it is you really want. Sure, you could ask advice or get opinions from friends and family, but if you're already a creative or some sort of talent that doesn't really fit the mold of your environment, then you're going to have to figure out a way to make things happen for yourself, regardless of who you're around, because at the end of the day, it's your journey. And I would say you might as well, I mean, I would say you don't have anything to lose because most of our calls are on a Zoom. So it's really up to your mindset, you know, do you want to sit there on a Zoom and get all this awesome training and some tips and advice? Or do you just want to say, oh, well, I could have been on the Zoom. I would have been on the Zoom, but I had excuses. And so I didn't make anything happen for myself. So you really just have to dig deep and stop being afraid to live and go succeed. Do you think that you would be where you are right now if you had not said yes to yourself? Said yes oh, to absolutely yourself? not. Absolutely not. I'd probably still be struggling to really make my dreams come true um, just because you all came to me at like a focal point. And so it's like, I was doing some things right, but I didn't necessarily have enough tools to really get to where I needed to go. Let me ask you one deeper question. So you said you didn't have the tools. Was it that you didn't have the tools or that you didn't have the connections to get where you want to go? Both. 
both um, tools and connections. Because for me, um, I was struggling and barely able to, you know, afford my dreams. So I had to make the decision to be responsible to my children and my household and everything. So I didn't have the tools because money is a tool. And I also didn't have connections, even though I was in school. Sure, the professors, there are connections and everything, but they don't have the experience that I would need to go where I need to go. And that's higher than just college education, in my opinion. Awesome. Well, Candace, thank you so much for taking the time today to be on the VIP Ignite Live podcast. I appreciate you so much. And I can't wait to see where you go. 2023 is going to definitely be your year. Thank you, Deneen. I can't wait to share with you all. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. If you are listening to this episode of the VIP Ignite Live podcast, make sure you hit subscribe so that you do not miss one upcoming episode. Also, please make sure you follow us on all forms of social media. We can be found at VIP Ignite Live on all forms of social media. Again, thank you so much and have an amazing, amazing day.